Hi AP statistics students, we're finishing up the problem that we started in class in section 10.1 page 623 number 16 where we checked conditions and number 18 where we actually carry out the hypothesis test. I've rewritten here in blue and green the information on the individual populations, the high school freshmen and the high school seniors who we are going to conduct the hypothesis test about, testing whether or not there's a difference in the proportion who use anabolic steroids between the freshmen and the seniors. We started to do our do in class, but we got held up, and the, the thing that we need to remember here is that we don't have population values. Normally what we do in confidence intervals is we use the sample statistic values because we're trying to estimate the population parameters. When we conduct a hypothesis test, we have a claim. So that's normally what we use, is the information in our null hypothesis to conduct the test. However, in this problem, because we don't have population values to use, when we're calculating the Z st test statistic, we're going to pool, otherwise known as combine, the sample values. And if you need some more information, you can take a look at page 612 and 613 in your textbook. But basically, here in red, you see the population or I'm sorry, the sample p hat sub c, and the c is for combined. So what we've done is we've combined the in the numerator the count for, of freshmen and the count of seniors, and that's the 34 and the 24, and in the denominator we've combined the sample sizes. This gives us a pooled sample statistic, sample proportion of 0 0.0190. Now that's what we're going to use, if you look at our Z statistic formula, right here, then you'll see that's exactly what we're going to use in calculating our Z statistics. So I've written out the formula so you can see exactly what we've done, and then I have plugged in the values for our Z test statistic. Once we've plugged in the values, then we get the Z score of 0.54. Next step, we go to table A and we find the p-value. Now if you remember in your null hypothesis that you wrote down when we were taking notes in class, we have a two-sided test because our alternative hypothesis was pf minus ps is not equal to zero. So what that means is based on the p-value that we got, we need to double for the two-sided test. So our p-value is twice what we find in table A or 0.5892. Okay. We're almost done with this problem. The last thing that we need to do is conclude. And our conclusion, based on our p-value, is since we have a p-value of 0.5892, and it's greater than the chosen significance level of alpha equals 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This means we do not have enough evidence to conclude that there's a difference in the actual proportions of freshmen and senior high school students in Illinois who use anabolic steroids. That will complete, believe it or not, that will complete part A of this question. And part B, they're asking us to construct the confidence interval at 95%. So try that at home. You should be able to do that after the one that we did in class today. And I'll see you on our next class meeting.